Good day, Grade 2. Today, we're going to talk about a lesson that will surely be very helpful for you. And the title of our lesson is Division as the Inverse of Multiplication. And now, let's start talking about it. Nancy's Bake Shop made 20 cakes to be delivered to their 5 customers. How many cakes would each customer receive? Now remember, Nancy's Bake Shop had to divide their 20 cakes for 5 customers. So, each customer will get 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, we may now say that 20 divided by 5 is equals 4. There you go. This illustration also shows us 5 groups of 4. So, we have 5 times 4 is equals 20. There. Therefore, we can say that division is the inverse of multiplication and vice versa. So, we have here 20 divided by 5 equals 4. And 5 times 4 equals 20. We still get to see the same numbers, but they function differently. Now, here we have in the division sentence, we have 20 and this is the dividend and then 5 as the divisor. So, when we divide 20 by 5, we'll get 4 as the quotient. Now, in this multiplication sentence, we have 5 as the multiplicand times 4, which is the multiplier. We get 20 as the product. There, my dear grade 2. Now, let's have another example. 36 divided by 4 equals 9. And 9 times 4, we have 36. Again, 36 in the division sentence is the dividend divided by 4 as the divisor. We have 9 as the quotient. And 9 is the multiplicand times 4 as the multiplier. We get 36 as the product. Very good, my dear grade 2. Now you already know that division is the inverse of multiplication and vice versa. Good job!